The time is now. On everything. Yo, this fight, man. This I wasn't going to buy this card, this... man. And I forgot yeah, this bro. fight was on it and Kevin Holland was on it. So I might have to so this shit don't get cut. Tony Ferguson versus Charles Oliveira, baby Hulk, man. Break it down for us. Who you got? All right. First of all, I don't know where are these analysts and I don't know other fans are coming out the wall saying is Tony Ferguson done? Did Justin Gaethje break Tony Ferguson? Did we not forget this man was on a 10 or 10 fight win streak in the Ooh. hardest division there is running through people, always taking short notice fights. Like, and he ran into Justin Gaethje when he was really hot. But, man, you can't count out El Kukui. I, I love New Bronx and Jiu-Jitsu is crazy. But when my man throwing elbows and knees like they razor blades, ain't no, ain't no way you lose. I mean, ain't no way you win it. So, definitely going with El Kukui for this one. Geo, man. Preach, what you got? Bro. Preach, man. Baby Hawk was preaching over here, bro. Like, I, I, I was feeling the same way. He really I was, was, feeling, though. I was feeling the same way when I was watching Errol Hawaii talk. Saying, like, oh, this is a crossroads match for Tony Ferguson. If he loses, like, he's, he's like, pretty much just screwed. I'm like, like, like Baby Hawk said, he was on a 12 fight when he, fight winning streak. What? And it's kind of like, you, yeah, it was 12. Dude. So, like, the fact that, like, he ran into JG when That's he crazy. was hot, it would it, it sucked for him. And then again, let's remember, bro, like, he took that fight on, like, two to three week notice. Like, he was supposed to fight Habib. So now imagine mm-hmm. if Ferguson on a full camp or robbing around Gaethje. I, I'll, I'll go Tony all day. Don't get me wrong, Oliveira is good and all, but I, I think uh, Tony's pressure is going to be too much for him. Yeah. Uh, 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 man. Hey, Rogi, man. This, I'm, bro, I'm, I'm so happy that you fucking watch MMA. That shit fucking, I'm lit, man. Especially because you're on the channel <laughs> with us too. So I'm fucking excited. Who you got in this one, man? Man, I got, um, I expect, Tony Ferguson to win this fight, but I hope I'm praying that Charles Olivier. Uh, sorry, I said his name wrong, but I hope that Charles wins this fight because just when when he wins the way that he fights, it's so exciting. It's just like to see a guy be that effortlessly technical and just crawl all around a dude and just snake him up. It's just it's just so crazy to watch, and I just love it, and it's just so exciting. And I would love to see when he does win. It's just so it's just so electric. But I do expect Tony Ferguson to win this fight. Crush him like a bug. Yeah, I, I, I said my pick with uh, Kevin Kroom. If you guys you know didn't see that, uh, I'm going with Ariel Hawani on this one, bro. I'm going with Charles Oliveira. I just mm. I think this is a crossroads fight for Tony Ferguson, and I, I think Baby Hawk and I spoke about this a little bit on our last episode of 01 2 and like. Tony Ferguson, if you look at like in that 12 fight win streak, there's some fights that are like, uh, like Kevin Holland had a mounted, you know, what I'm saying, or not Kevin Holland, Kevin Lee had a mounted, like he had the staff infection on his, his chest, he kind of like you know, tired out right there. But you know, Tony almost it was almost a wrap for him, you know, at the end of that first round. Um, Cowboy had the, the situation with his nose, you know, what I'm saying, where he was oh. supposed to blow it and his face blew up. Uh, Anthony Pettis broke his hand after he rocked him, so he couldn't, he wasn't really throwing any more punches, you know, what I'm saying, it's like a lot of close calls in that in that streak. I mean, nonetheless, in MMA, more than anything, a win's a win's a win. But Charles Oliveira is talented enough. I think he has the most submissions in the lightweight division, which is something to say because Baby Hulk said I think it himself. In UFC like, history. That's fucking insane, man. Yeah, and, and yeah. that's like one of the, the best divisions in the you know in the UFC. So he's no slouch, man. I Tony is a dog, but it's I think this is a crossroads fight for him for sure. I'm excited for that one. I think right. the, just because uh I think Charles Oliveira likes to – he doesn't like to, but he often ends up in, like, really sticky situations when he's, like, crawling all around people. You see his head, like, take punches that you probably shouldn't have took and stuff like that. And I don't think you can necessarily do that against Tony Ferguson too many times because he's going to put you out. That's true. He he, he got them bows. He got them the razor-cutter bows for sure. 